Hi everyone, today we'll be watching Dark Gathering. We finished last episode with capturing one of the S-Rang ghosts. Not really capturing, we made a contract with them. So when when we need help, they gave us this like cloth kind of thing, I think, if I remember uh, correctly. Yeah, now we are going into another S-Rang location, but this time we are with Eiko. We'll see how that turns out. And one more thing, I think we should be getting a new ending. Uh, I mean opening if I ending as well if I'm not mistaken so we'll see how that holds up to the first opening I hope it's not too spoiler but we'll see I know that the trailer for the second part like for the episodes for from 12 to 24 came out but I did not watch it I heard it's really spoiler and I just kept away from it uh, so yeah let's get right into episode 13 okay never mind we still got the same opening Oh, this hand. How do we actually use it? That's the question. Not really, it was already mutilated. You just took an arm, I guess. <laughs> that still sounds weird. <laughs> oh. She's diving into his weird side. Now I wonder how you'll answer this. Or maybe he is. You're creepy. <laughs> She's so creepy. I guess that's that does sound kind of fun, but I don't think he'll be doing this if you like didn't have those veiny arms or something those arms wrapped with nerves he wants to cure you why does she have to be so creepy? <laughs> so it is true you do love the fear Whoa. Wait, who is that? Those are like real people. <laughs> That's not her. Are you for real just casually drowning a grandma? What was that? Oh right, she wasn't actually a real grandma, she was just a spirit that was wandering. But still! Who are you people? Okay, so you're a priest. <laughs> he is, and who are you? Are you like his accomplice? His grandfather? <gasps> Was that your arm? Because you do look like you would have a <laughs> really wrinkly arm. <laughs> you barely look alive. Remember this power infused body and bring forth. So you have to collect all the pieces? Oh, the seed of, okay, we got the name, the seed of moonless dawn, now that actually sounds cool, Yaya said something, I think it was Yaya, the sphere or something, I can't even remember, but yeah, the specter of that, yeah, I was calling it, wait, we are getting a new opening, <laughs> so I basically just, um, I start watching it at the website that it comes out first and then I switched up most of the times and the start is like exactly the same but these parts I don't think they were there kind of were they wait am I am I just being dumb 
You know what? I'll just skip it again. And if it's new, you guys let me know and I'll watch it in the next episode. But I feel like it's the same thing. <laughs> Who are you? Oh god. I feel like you're a terrible spirit. What rank are you? <laughs> what is happening? Are you afraid of... This thing? Okay. This spirit is extremely... The two spirits clashing off? They are fighting. Oh, something's definitely happening. Guys, I'm gonna be honest. I have no idea what's going on. Paul put the seed on Muna's down, aka the specter of that. Kishimojin. Yet, you know, a clash between them was not a little Okay. If it comes to meet once again, I don't know what was happening there, but it was intense. <laughs> oh, hello. You look so normal here. Wait, I just noticed. Yeah, he said, let's go. And she finishes ghost. Oh my god, I'm so dumb. I was also confused why was she saying Ost. Now it makes sense. <laughs> Another one? Where do you have it? Are we going to see where she's holding the graduates? Yep, makes sense. It's better always to have at least two. The more the better. Ah, okay. Are you holding them each like in different locations? Okay, she does. Dragon veins. Mm -hmm. Oh, they can drink from the spirit? From the river, I mean? No, that I'm excited to see. The last one was kind of insane. It was a huge threat even to us. It's not an evil spirit. Okay, that's good. How so? Okay. Oh, he has a whole army? Oh, that's an interesting one. I like this one actually way more than the last one. At least from the sound of it. Damn, that's unfortunate kind of. Okay, that's good. Yep. We have to deal with these things. This is going to be a really interesting one. Again, I guess all the graduates are like, can possess us some kind of danger. Because first it was the priest or the Buddha, whatever. Now it's this one, which is also dangerous for us. What's happening here? Is that a mannequin? Yep. Okay, who's biting him? Oh no, the biting stopped. Are they coming for them? <laughs> I wouldn't be so calm about this. With no electricity. Yep. 
Oh, this is... Oh, right, this is the graduate. We are going to the graduate. I thought we <laughs> arrived at the S rank ghost, so the bite marks are actually the... The spirits that can't forgive him. At least you can see them. They're not invisible. It's because of the light from the TV. <laughs> How actually do you deal with this? <laughs> okay, that must be the weirdest feeling ever. Is he inside him? Pause, but like... Wait, what is happening? Damn, what is a terrible thing? It's weird, like, you're fighting around the water, but you're dying of thirst. I know that you can't drink it, but like, just a weird concept. So, are these the memories of the graduate? You did! Yep, doesn't look like they left you alone. <laughs> and now you don't even have water. And they're biting on him. I'm pretty sure that's a bite. Oh my god. They're trying to eat you. <laughs> Those are bite marks. Yes. Oh my god. Okay, what do we do in this situation? Okay. You can do it. Please. Yep, we know that. Now they're after you. <laughs> okay, go. Let's go, Ika. I'm rooting for you. Don't let me down. <laughs> that was really not the time. Let's go. Can you catch it? Good. Good, good. <laughs> okay, thanks, God. Good job, Eiko. Eiko actually made me proud. She did great. Phew, that was stressful. <laughs> Y'all did great. Especially Eiko, she was, she was kind of an MVP in this one. Oh no, someone's going to attack her. Huh? I don't think you did. Did one of them got into her? Guys, my theory about her being possessed came true. <laughs> oh no, she's crazy. <laughs> Girl, why are you so crazy? What happened in your life that made you this way? <laughs> so is she actually possessed? I mean, does she have a spirit? Or was that just her imagination? Stuh. Okay. Now I'm on, on to the joke. Now we are traveling to the old tunnel. Where the girl with the kimono haunts. I'm excited to see her. I think it's a new ending. Maybe. It is a new ending. Was it a new opening? Maybe it was. I, 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 I'm not watching it. Yeah, should I watch this? Let me know. I'll watch it in the next episode if it doesn't contain too many spoilers. Cause like now I know approximately the characters and when I first watched the opening like at the very start I didn't know anything about the show so it wasn't really anything wasn't a spoiler to me but now I feel like something could spoil me. I'll wait just till you guys let me know if I should watch this opening. That gathering once again with another amazing episode. There wasn't really much happening. No, I take that back. There was a lot happening especially like 
what was the whole starting the priest and like the old grandpa in a wheelchair then there was a whole face off between the seed of the moonless dawn and like uh i forgot the name but the other strong spirit but he didn't really fight for some reason that wasn't really for reasons yet unknown a clash between them was narrowly avoided so we don't know what happened there actually and then there's this huge girl that appeared i have no idea what's happening to be honest that whole part was confusing i feel like it will make more sense in the future but as of now yeah i don't know that was a lot and then we went to get our graduate to help us with the s rank ghost in the old tunnel it took some work to get it with some some flashbacks of the war happening but the good thing is this ghost is actually on friendly terms with yayo when i mean this ghost I specifically talk about the graduate because he's hunted by the people he killed and those people actually can hurt us as we saw when Keter almost got his tummy ripped apart. Eiko, Eiko, listen, I'm proud of Eiko, <laughs> she was weird at the episode, like at the very start, which is, that's Eiko, that's her character, I just, I just need to get used to it at this point. But at the end, she turned out to be the star of this episode. She actually helped a lot to seal the graduate. And yeah, so in the next episodes, I'm guessing we'll be entering the tunnel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please consider subscribing. Also, leave your opinions on this episode down in the comments below. And I hope to see you in my next reactions. Bye.